<laughs> we were talking five years ago at the 2009 Colorado New Place Summit about the Unsinkable Molly Brown, and here we are. I know, it's actually happening, and it's happening in Denver, which is perfect. <laughs> and it, it, it couldn't be any better than that, could it? No, I mean, to, to do this story about uh, Molly Brown in what became her hometown, and you know, I think the sort of um, one of the most famous residents in, uh, in, in Denver history is kind of wonderful. Can you give us some insight onto how, you know, what happens in the five years in between? <laughs> <laughs> you're developing the piece, but then you're also trying to find the right home and the right time and place to do it. And that took us a little bit to, to work out. I mean, we were thrilled that it's here, but it was also the timing of it. Now is the right time and the right place. Yeah, exactly. Me. Why is this the story you want to tell? Um, well, I love the fact that there's a sort of, uh, that we have a sort of strong female character at the center. I mean, there aren't many shows that really a sort of uh, woman is at the center of it and the title character and kind of driving the narrative. Um, and also, I think there's something, you know, about this show and this character that is, is Dick says, is sort of emblematic of America. And, and I think Meredith Wilson's music and score is, is sort of, Americana at it at its best, you know, sort of big and strong and open-hearted and uh, uh, and optimistic, and I think that that's a lot of uh, qualities that this show has and that Molly Brown herself had. Are we going to see a, an appreciably different Molly Brown? I mean, because at the heart, we're still talking about a love story, aren't we? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, I might yes, it's very much a romance between Molly and JJ. It's a very different Molly Brown, but I think if you look at the original, one of the challenges of the original is that the Molly within the original is inconsistent. In some scenes, she's very, very bright and picks up things very quickly, and then the next scene, she'll be the opposite of that. And there's a kind of scene-by-scene scene approach, and I wanted a much more holistic approach. It is still the story of a girl who becomes a woman, so she grows and, and, and grows the way people do, but it's the same person growing. And I think that can make the love of relationship much deeper, too. We were thrilled to be able to announce the news that Beth Malone, a Castle Rock native, is going to be your, your Molly Brown. We had no idea that she was actually a Colorado girl, a native, lady, woman, um, when we cast her. Um, we just sort of loved her, um, her, own, her spirit. I mean, uh, and really, I mean, she's also an incredibly uh, talented um, actress and, and, and singer and performer and uh, but uh, but really, it was her her energy and her and her spirit and something that about Beth that is sort of just instantly um, compelling and uh, and open. It is a journey of a woman who who, who grows uh, incredibly. I mean, she ages from age nineteen to what forty five forty five or something during the course of the action of the play. So you need somebody who who can take you on that journey. Who can sort of you can believe that she is a kind of you know. Um, young and open and somewhat naive, but but very clear-headed and strong-willed person, who then sort of matures into something else. And we actually asked her to look at scenes from uh, um, all ends of the play, her you know from from all all stages of Molly's life, and uh, and she did it beautifully.